everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Garbic Experiment. We're looking at another mod on SnowRunner. So this time it is the IX Wrecker. So let's jump straight into this. It looks like a pretty cool truck. I've seen it in the mod uh, browser and it had a dozer blade on the front of it. I have no idea what else you can put on it. But we're going to go... Oh, let's go... We'll go the 6.7 liter Power Stroke V8 TD Turbo Diesel. It's a 2021 engine, which is pretty good. Um, again. Should we go... R&D prototype. You know what? Let's go the off-road torque shift, I think. What do we go the monster torque shift? Off-road monster torque shift. Six auto gears, two leg gears, and a high gear. Yeah, let's go the monster torque shift. I still don't think that's going to be extremely overpowered in like the Iggy's R and D one. So we got the base soft, firm, jacked soft, jacked firm, heavy work, ultimate, base, OP as well. So I'm going to go with. Okay, maybe not that then. Let's go with just... Because um, that is seriously tall. A tool set works great with the 45s. On their 51s. You know what, let's go with that. Because I want to see what it's like with 51s on it. Wow, so many tyres just popped up then. Um, so we are still in the summer province... Summer Proving Ground, sorry. Um, so let's go for the off... Do we go off-road? Let's go mud, mud tires, I reckon. Oh, we can have jewels. By Quasi. Bug tires. So let's find the 51s. Wow, so many tires. Lagging out a little bit. You can have triples. You can have triple, true jewels. And these are the bug tires again. Uh, where are the 51s? Oh. Heavy mud. Mud default grid. Ah, there we go. So we can have 51 triples. Jewels. There's the bug tires. Excellent all round. Will cause bugs. Ah, okay. I see. That's why they're called bug tires then. Um, custom tyre, wheel performance, oh, good off-road, on-road, sorry, excellent off, excellent mud. Oh, I kind of like the dual wheels on the back there, though. Special tyres are element weapon against the deepest marsh, providing the best off-road performance at cost of off-road traction, on-road traction, sorry. Oh, what are these monster muds? Oh, they are seriously wide. Oh, I do like those ones. Um, heavies. They're pretty cool as well, though. Heavy off-road. IX heavy off-road. Okay, you know, let's go for those. They're 51s. Oh, I was going to be here all day choosing tyres, and there's a long list to choose from. So we've got the basic offline extreme. Okay, now we'll go with the offline. Because we don't want to go seriously over the top. Where's that one then? Cab back front facing. Oh, it's there. Oh, they look cool, those ones. And let's have a look then. And a long list of frame add-ons as well. So we got wheel rack with repairs. We got the 750 pickup. 750 trunk. A flatbed. Small maintenance. Seismic vibrator, a small sideboard, small tank, service body. These look all weird on this, though, because they're not made for it, like, properly. And we got the IX cargo box, like we had on the Heavy Wrecker. We've got a dump body, two cargo slots, a long bed, so that's just an empty long bed with supplies. We've got 900 repair parts, eight spare wheels, and 500 fuel in that. 
truck bed with an ATV rack that doubles up as a cargo slot and fuel wheels and repair. And we've got a rollback body, a wrecker body. Oh, so we've got a small little wrecker. Oh, that's pretty cool. Got the normal winch, uh, normal crane, sorry. A normal crane, but with repair parts as well. Another normal crane. Oh, it's stronger and longer. Saddle high and low. So I'm going to go for, I know we used that red. Uh, do we go? We kind of need to recover the Yerf dog. I left it out there last episode. Um, let's go. I kind of want to try the rollback and just see what that's like. Because we didn't really test it out in the last one on the other truck. Now, so yeah. Okay. Ah, front bumper. That's what we wanted. So we can get heavy pipe, stock, heavy pipe, slanted. Stock bumper, heavy look bumper, a heavy bumper. Oh, so they're actually massive a thousand on that. Extremely, extremely heavy, extra heavy, sorry. Front bumper, two and a half thousand. Plow animated. Recommended to use a shorter truck build for maximum effectiveness. Animated with lift and lower and angle command. Okay. And then we can have... And then we can have a uh, fog lighter. So I'm going to go with the heavy look bumper. Because I think that looks pretty cool. Let's add a little bit of mass. Not too much though. And we've got the default exhaust as well coming up the top. Let's go for those ones I think. What's the default one? Where does that even come out? I'm not too sure on that one. Well, let's leave it at that. Liking the colour. Let's go and see... A, what this is like. And B, can we... Oh, nice. We've got verse lights in the bed there. Well, the beacons aren't on. How strange. The top beacon isn't on. Okay, well let's go see if we can save this Yerf dog after we do a little bit of testing. You see what it is like. We've got the Ford mud guards on the back there. 190 litres of fuel, which is not bad. Just for a small little wrecker. Again, could possibly be used in Korea. Could be quite useful just to have a smaller wrecker instead of that huge wrecker. But that's more so for the big truck stuff. Wow. Right, let's see what it's like getting through this. We've just got all-wheel drive on the moment because it's permanent all-wheel drive. Wow, just how much damage did that do just hitting that barrier? Can we repair it? No. Well, it is repaired, but it's not. Okay. Right then, let's go and try it through some mud. And try it on the, um... Well, I don't know what you want to call them, really. They're like dips with hills in the middle. Let's see what it does like that in there. And then we'll try the jump. And then see if we can actually recover the Yerf dog and bring it back to the garage. So let's go through this. Wow. Straight through that. Not a problem whatsoever. Let's try the deeper mud. That was sixth gear through that. Okay, now we're starting to struggle a little bit. Let's drop the gears down. Still not needing the diff lock. Still okay, which is still pretty good. I mean, I haven't got the best OP setup on it. Pretty good tyres though, but still not the greatest. Let's see if we can get back out of here. Yeah, it's fine through that. Probably didn't really need to put the differential lock on or chuck it in low. Just automatic all the way. Let's try high and see if it stalls it out. We're just going to power on through. That will be... Yeah. Just power on through. Not a problem whatsoever. Which is great. It means it's got a lot of torque. But again, yeah. I've got the torque shift on. It's probably geared quite well. Let's head through this section. Yeah, it's sort of like a whoop section. But it's not. Because you wouldn't want to hit this at too much speed. 
because you'd probably do a serious amount of damage. So the approach angle is all right, apart from that bumper. It's the descent angle which is going to be the issue with the overhang on the wheels in the back. Uh, the wheelbase, not too bad. It's handling okay because the front wheels are pulling it back up over. Doing okay. Still in all mag. No differential lock needed, really. Yeah, it's fine. Which is really good. Oh, I spoke... Oh, I almost spoke too soon then. It's still going. It's slipping a little bit. But managed that fine. So let's head up to the jump and then rescue this Yerf dog. And see if we can get it back to the garage and see what it's like with this roll bed. So we did, yeah, like I said, we didn't... We had the twin cab and we didn't actually use the roll bed properly. We didn't put a truck up on there. So let's see. I mean, it's not really a heavy truck, so it probably didn't even need the weighted bumper on it, but still. Could be a fun thing to have out on the career. To go and collect like your scout vehicles that are out and about run out of fuel or whatnot. Quite nice inside. Quite well detailed. So that's it's not very quick. I must say it's not very quick on that. But still Oh Made it further than the Yerf dog. Don't don't roll over. There we go. Right then. Yurf dog, you're coming with me. Right then, let's see what this roll bed's like. All the roll back. And let's go back. And let's tilt it up as well. So we've got quite a few winch points on that as well. Or well, maybe not so high, that's quite steep. Although that is all the way on the ground. Alright then, let's go attach winch right onto that centre point. Although I can only get on the high or the top one. You know what, just pull it straight up. It's not quite what I wanted, but nonetheless it is on. So let's go back to the roll back body. Controls. Let's bring it up. Let's drop it down. Alright. Handbrake off. Is that UF dog going to stay there? It's going to keep telling me that the engine's stalled because it is up on its side. Can I pack it? No, I can't, because it's not up on its wheels, which is a bit of a shame. Wait, let's have a look. Let's see if we can attach winch. Let's go for that. Let's go for that back one. Let's try that again, because I think it was still technically attached. There. Okay, it's not going to go back up. Never mind. It should stay there. It's a pretty big bed. It's a bit of a shame. I wanted to see what it was like packed on there. You definitely wouldn't lose it, but let's get it back to the garage. Right around the corner. Here we are. But that was the IOX. Oh! Almost. I was going to say, it's going to... What's that going to roll back up then? You know what I didn't look at is the trailers. Oh! Well, it's back at the garage. That's all that matters. Let's have a look. See what trailers we can get behind it. Because we have got a hitch. I should have looked at that beforehand. So, obviously we can get all the standard ones. And the prototype. What is going on? Prototype, yeah. I think we can get most of the standard ones because we have got a hitch as well. I do want to try out that trailer deck as, uh, deck as well. But yeah, guys, that is the IX Wrecker. Absolutely destroyed. Proper wrecked on the front. Um, Pretty good truck, actually. Must say. Could be used in lots of different scenarios. Because obviously you could have the, the crane on the back with the lift on the back as well. If you needed to 
tow out your truck and I've completely destroyed that bar at the top. Proper bend that. At a serious angle. But yeah, it could be. It's a good truck. Liking that. Obviously, if you stuck all the overpowered stuff on it, it would be unstoppable and kind of unrealistic. But again, you could use it in a career or, again, with co-op with your mates if you need to recover your mates and things. A really good truck. Again, um, I will link the creator in the description if you guys want to check it out and everything else. But if you did enjoy this episode, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload the next episode. Thanks guys for watching.